Here's a video on how to edit the beat grid when a song has multiple BPMs. Um, please take into consideration that I am doing this more for those who at least have a little bit of knowledge already on how to basically edit the beat grid, okay? First of all, I'm just going to analyze the track. Take a note, I do have set beat grid and um, set auto BPM checked. Okay, so I always come back with a with a BPM of 70. Um, I know that this is too small for the genre of music, so I'm gonna double this and make it 140. And press Enter, um, and now I'm gonna load the song up onto the deck. And already I can see that the beat grid is out of time. It needs to be slipped towards the right. You do that by entering the beat grid, pressing Alt and Space. You see the green line appear. Um, then I'm going to press Control and either left or right, depending on which way the beat grid needs to go. In this case now, I'm going to press Control and right. I'm going to keep pressing it until it's in time, in line, or however you see it. And then I'm going to press Enter. Now I'm going to play the track and have a look if 140 BPM falls good for me on my beat grid. So far, so good. Now, what you want to do at this point, if you feel like it's going okay, you want to just kind of go through the song and, you know, continue to see if it stays in time. Okay, so I'm going to jump forward a little bit. Okay, so once again, 140 is still okay. Now, what you want to basically do is you want to continue through the song until you reach to the last beat, which is still in time. Okay, when you get to that beat, you need to stop. Okay, so I've already prepared this earlier, so I'm just going to jump forward. Now... Okay. So for me, the last um, beat grid, which is still in time with the music, is for me is 66, okay? Um, what you want to do now is you need to enter the beat grid and you need to put a new um, marker there, okay? So how you do that is, um, is enter the beat grid by pressing Alt and Space. And it's very simple, and I think this is where some people get confused you just simply have to press X okay you just wanna press X okay when you press X you if you look good you will see a red line appear okay I believe you might just be able to see that red line okay now after that press enter okay what you've done now is by placing this here anything that you change from here going forward should have no effect on any of the beat grid that you just put in place over this side okay so that is the purpose of this now the next thing you're gonna do you're gonna play through this you're gonna continue to play through the song until you come to another um, beat which you can clearly see that the beat grid is falling off um, and you're gonna put it back in time so how you're gonna do that is you're gonna play Okay, so as you see, there's another beat coming up here, and there is no beat grid in sight as of yet. Um, a simple way to do this right now, because the, the BPM is still currently going up and down, so you're just going to do exactly the same. Enter the, enter the edit mode of the beat grid, and just simply press X. Okay, and it's now placed another beat marker, and you press enter, and then continue again. Okay, and you're going to do the same here again, enter the beat grid, 
Press X, place your marker, enter, continue. Okay, and you're going to continue to do this um, up until the BPM has stopped going up and down. And when you, when you believe that is going to be continuous, then we will show you what to do as it gets there. So I will just continue here. Okay, just continuing. Every time I'm just pressing Alt and Space to enter the beat grid and then X to put a beat marker. Okay, now from this point here is where the BPM has finished going up and down and from this point is going to be continuous through the track, okay? Um, if I show you, if you listen to the music you will hear the change. Okay, so let's go back, back to that change and this is where you're going to place in this case, in this song, every song is different, but in this song, this is where we're going to place our final um, red marker. We're going to enter the beat grid again. Press X. Now, this is the point where we need to we need to work out the BPM over this side. Now, all the changes is finished. We just want to work out the last part. We just placed the new be um, red beat grid marker. I can show you it here. You can just about see it, I hope. Okay, now let's get to the next beat. Now, by editing this and pulling it over, it should not have no effect on anything which came before the last red marker that we just placed. So let's enter the beat mode. Let's go over here. We're holding Alt, left mouse button, and we are just going to drag this in place. Okay. Press Enter. And then let's continue and see how that goes. As you see now, they are dropping in time. Okay, and it's usually a good idea to to jump further down the song. This is even a good way to get the beat grid more tight as well as keeping it in time. It seems to be fine anyway. The grids are dropping on top of each other. Let's get more towards the end. Okay, as you can see here, it's slightly out. We'll just enter the beat grid mode again. Pressing Alt, left mouse button, and we're just going to use the mouse and just slide this slightly over, make it a little bit tighter, press Enter, and I believe now we should be okay if we go back to the start of the song. Currently, this is fine, it's in time still. Let's jump forward again. Still in time. We're going to... We're going to jump to where the tune was messy, where the BPM really started to change. So as you can see, all seems well at the moment. If you want to fine tune it, um, in the part that was messy, if you really want to fine tune it, just use more um, of the red markers. Um, you could even go back there now and do it. It doesn't matter which order you put them in. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's basically it. I think you get the gist of what to do. Okay. <laughs> 